Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm so, I'm so stoked to be here today. I want to show you some data on consumer behavior and, and understanding where our traveler is coming from, what decision is he making in terms of vacation rental. So what we're trying to do, when we look at the pyramid of making decisions in terms of travel, we only have the opportunity to, make it, to influence the decision at the top of the pyramid. In terms of whether the people choose to go to and how do they choose to go, go where, we can influence the dream trip. And the second thing is we can influence impulsive travel. So travelers just want to get away and spend time with friends and family, right? And this is why the vacation rental product is such an important product to the entire travel industry. And let's talk about distribution here. In APAC in 2020, we expect 60% of online travel booking volumes to be transacted mobile. 60% of people between age 18 to 44 are making research mobile. So you better get your mobile strategy ready if you're not already working on it right now. But one thing that I believe the vacation rental industry can do a lot better is engaging with the consumer while in destination. Over 70% will use their mobile in destination. You can interact with them and upsell tours and activities. Tours and activities is a 130 billion US dollar business and it's the third largest travel vertical. Okay, so let's talk about rentals. 30% private accommodation use among US travelers has surged it's a 30% in 2015 and it's going to go increase even further. So when we look at the, at the entire travel growth rates versus vacation rental, this growth has to come at at least 7% in terms of vacation rental industry, which is higher than what the travel industry has grown. So let's quickly look at the urban rental stays and in, in, in the urban destinations. So 13% in 2012 were actually urban stays and guess where it is? in 2016, it's 38%. 38% of the total stays have been three nights and less. So if you want to accommodate these type of guests, then you better make sure you also accommodate shorter stays. Why and what do you choose when you make a, travel, when you make a vacation rental booking? It's about the experience, yes, of course, but it's still location, 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 and it's value for money. Don't send the money to Google, it's a waste. You need to put your money into your product, guest experience, building loyalty, create efficiencies in systems, in, 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 in automation. That's where you need to put your money. Online booking channels drive nearly 70% of property management bookings. Leverage more complex tools, so the, the adoptance is really good to see that people have understood. HomeAway launching a, a, a yield management tool, everybody, I think that's where one of the biggest opportunities lies in terms of maximizing your returns. In terms of yield management, revenue management. If you don't have revenue management, yield management on the control and your, your supply and demand model right, you can't increase your revenues. So what I'm saying here, it's not gonna get easier, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna get far more complex. Thank you very much. <clears throat> now we're gonna have a great panel session. So please join me in welcoming Ben Edwards, Steve Milo, and Jody Tyler. Thank you very much. There's a lot of issues with the OTAs. The challenge has been, for the most part, the OTAs don't understand uh, the vacation rental industry. But the ultimate goal is to do business directly okay. with us. When we started our company, we've always used OTAs, um, but in a smaller amount, because we didn't have a lot of money to invest heavily in them. 70% of the people who booked a vacation rental did not remember where they booked it and, and who they stayed with. Why? Yeah, well, they didn't stay with my mother. <laughs>